folks, I'm just boiling up some water I got earlier on from um, um, a stream before I come up onto Bellstone Common. I think it's called Bellstone Common. And um, I'm having a Asian noodles with chicken and mixed vegetables tonight. But I'm, I'm extra specially trying to boil up this water because I didn't realise there are people swimming in the water in a bit more bit before just before I was collecting the water. So I was kind of been playing in my mind a bit. So um, yeah, I'm gonna extra boil it. Plus the fact I washed out the water filter. I forgot to put it in the bag. And I forgot to put my emergency phone in the bag. But that's okay, because I've got another phone and a, a distress beacon. But it's annoying I forgot the water filter. But the water seems pretty clear. And I'm, I'm just, all I've got to do is just boil it. I mean, it's going to make no much difference to using the water filter anyway. I've got plenty of gas. So that's almost ready now. And all I've got to do is tear this off and tip water in here then reseal it and just leave it for a couple of well say five minutes eight minutes then it's ready to eat I'm about to have a protein for goodness shakes 25 gram protein shake uh, I'll probably put a link in the description for these you can get them in the supermarket as well but um, on my link you can buy them in bulk and it might work out a little bit cheaper for you and you can get them delivered so Morning folks, I'm about to have a uh, chicken teacup with rice, uh, expedition foods and for coffee I had a calif, is it califissa or what, calif, I can't even pronounce it. Packed up all the rubbish put in uh, my uh, plastic bag. Uh, it stopped raining now, I've got my wet gear on, which is good. So, this is a uh, Irish man's wall where I was going to camp last night. Last thing you think you see in the uh, wild, isn't it? A PowerPoint. That's what it looks like, anyway. So, at the moment, I'm actually walking through the military zone um, where the army do their training. But the red flags are not up today, so I can only presume they're not training today. It's only where the red flags are up. I think there is a website to check, but no red flags are up, so. So very often I walk through the, the military bit, uh, I think I'm going to have to do more and more 
um, biking around the army training bit when it pops in when it's So I just made it across this uh, river crossing without wet socks. Well, I'm standing outside of the wind here. I don't know if this is coming out windy on the uh, GoPro, but I'm just standing behind an army hut. Ow. 603 elevation, I think I said already. I don't know if you picked that up because it's quite windy. It's got it's got vote 4G signal as well, but it's just in the army zone, so you'd have to make sure there's no uh, army practice. really foggy crossing here. Okay, I have no idea how deep this is or muddy. That seems all right. This is like ultra boggy and I'm wearing a really heavy pack. This is not looking, uh, it's not looking too good. I would have filmed me crossing it, but I don't want to have to walk back over again if it's really that bad. That over there doesn't look so bad. Oh, okay, it's kind of, it's not so bad actually. It's a lot worse than it looks so far. Ah, it's got to be a bit, a bit alert. Because there could be some really deep, deep bucky bits. Okay, this is the last bit really. Well folks, I found a place to camp. It's about, uh, where there will be? 421 metres above sea level. Um, I wanted to camp here, I don't want to get, I'm, I'm quite a few kilometres away from Dalstone I think. Um, it's just that I didn't want to get too close to the village because it's quite busy. I mean, I don't know how busy Dartmoor is at the moment. It doesn't seem that busy, but it seems like a nice spot. It's, it's a bit boggy though, but um, there's some water at least. And um, I don't know, like it's out with the wind. This bit shelter is actually really windy at the moment, you wouldn't believe it. Um, but this little bit sheltered spot here, 
it's just shouting the wind. I've got, I managed to get a little bit of signal enough to do um, actually I'm doing a live stream at the moment. I'm just getting ready to uh, make my food and today's food is going to be a Thai green curry with rice from Expedition Foods. Uh, just going to get some water on the boil. Now it's just the waiting game. <laughs> Guys, I'm moving the tent. I have no idea which is the easiest way back, but I've just seen reports of 60 miles per hour wind with snow minus one. And I've got this tent. It's best if I go camp lower. And I'm not and I think I've got two river crossings, and if it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain all night, there's snow in the morning. I ain't gonna make those river crossings. I need to uh, do the river crossings tonight, otherwise I'm going to make the train back tomorrow. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest, because I want to, I don't want to be caught out in this wind. And I've got no walking stick for river crossings. I've got, uh, the river's already quite high. Well, I can see someone up on where I was camping last night, I think camped up there. Um, I think I'm going to go that way. I'm going to try and make it across the rivers and down the valley to uh, Bellstone. Hopefully I can cross the rivers there. Just boiling some water for um, my hot water bowl. Found a spot to camp. It's got uh, these horrible thistles all around it. I've got thistles in my hand, or thistles everywhere, but it's keeping me out of the wind. It's supposed to be 60 miles per hour. Snow blizzards, I guess, because it's going to be snowing, so it'll be snow blizzards, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. And uh, below zero, that's. So it's probably like a wind chill of like, I don't know, minus seven or something, or something crazy like that. But I'm lower down now, so it shouldn't be so bad. Uh, it's going to start raining about in a couple of an hour or so. So I've just made it in time, only two, two hours, an hour. Um, I did, I made the right choice, that's for sure, because the walk down here, well, it was um, a good few hours walk. And um, it would have been hard to, you know, I don't know the area of that bit. And it said on the map, marshes. Strong rain. Can you hear it? Tent's holding out. The wind's died down a bit, it's changed direction, but um, it's just the rain at the moment. Morning, folks. Welcome to a wet and windy. I'm out of the wind at the moment, but it is very windy. Uh, the rain's just coming back again. It should be snowing soon. And I'm just going to have a Expedition Foods with cous couscous, spices and vegetables. Uh, I'll put a link in the description as always. Okay, so the rain has definitely come back now. Um, I don't normally carry a great big jar of honey with me. I, I might carry a plastic jar or some preferably brown sugar because it's lighter. But at home I always have honey with my coffee. I don't like using sugar, um, but it has a lot of benefits, health benefits, 
and to be honest, I think it tastes better as well with the coffee. And I've got like a, one of these coffee bags. I'll put the link in the description for these things. It's snowing. Can you believe it? it it's snowing. It's actually snowing. If I was higher up, it'd probably be much better snow. It's not certain here, it's like sleety, sleety snow. So this is my first snow camp of the year. Probably the wettest snow I've camped in, I think. It's not uh, But nevertheless, it's, it's snowing. So, um, I'm going to get the tent down now. As you can see, this is like a I've camped in a bloody mountain stream. Well, guys, I've got the I've got the tent down, and as you can see, I don't know if you just caught that, but um, it was snowing. But the battery ran out. I only just charged the battery, and it ran out. How useless is that? Anyway, it's still snowing slightly, but it, just before the um, battery ran out, yeah, there was like a like a full on like blizzard um, okay so I'm gonna get ready now uh, got everything everything packed away picked up so I saw a large group of people camping at Balstone where I was camping the, uh, two nights ago on the way back on the other side of the uh, valley, I guess you'll call it, or the other side of the, the, other side of the um, hills. And um, I thought oh, there was a large group of people out there camping. Obviously, it's been snow today, but it was a search and rescue exercise in operation at Bolstead. Oh, it's just uh, the 21st of February there, though. So I got here on the 22nd. So maybe it wasn't that. Oh, guys. Cautious lay folks, or whatever. Almost at the train station now, so I should make the nine, the nine thirty flight. I suppose I should take the light off. I was going to take off my uh, waterproofs here, but it did say it was going to be. Um, it did say it was going to be raining all day and windy. It's not actually windy down here, but it, I thought the moors it was windy. And like <laughs> last night, oh man, I packed my stuff away so quick when I saw the 60 mile per hour warning because I wasn't in the best of shelter and and uh, my Jack, Jack Wall skin tent's really good but it's in better days. It did rain heavily last night while I was camping. And uh, they kept the rain out, I and mean, the tent was wet inside though, just because all my gear was wet. So um, it was it's damp, not because the tent leaked or anything, the tent definitely didn't leak. And um, it was okay in the snow this morning, the uh, snow blizzard. Uh, anyway, I'm going to sort myself out and get ready for this uh, train. And I'm back at Oakhampton Station, so I'm guessing this might be a time to say, yeah, thanks for watching, don't forget click that like button and click the notification button so you don't miss any um, episodes also consider joining my members area where you'll see my videos before they're released with um, no adverts but you can watch my videos for free with adverts but if you join the members area you get to see them sometimes around a week before I put them live for free with the adverts Bastard! <laughs> 